When testing a null hypothesis, we arrive at a conclusion of rejecting it or failing to reject it. Such conclusions are sometimes correct and sometimes wrong, even if we follow the prescribed procedures. There are two types of errors we can make and two types of correct decisions. Alpha is the probability of type 1 error. That's what we've discussed before, the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when it's actually true. Beta represents the probability of type 2 error. This is the probability of failing to reject the null hypothesis when it was actually false. So let's look at a way we can put this information in a table. So here are our four possibilities. The null hypothesis is actually true, and we can either reject it or fail to reject it. The null hypothesis is actually false, and we can reject or fail to reject. So alpha is our type 1 error, and that's when the null hypothesis was true, but we rejected it. And recall, we, we set that significance level. Type 2 error, or beta, is when the null hypothesis was false, but we didn't catch it, and we failed to reject it. So that's another way we can make an error. If the null hypothesis is false, and we reject it, we've made a correct decision. If the null hypothesis is true, and we fail to reject it, that's another correct decision. So these are the types of errors involved with hypothesis testing.